Okay, let's start working on the user page. And we want to start by creating a route for each user. So back to our web.php and inside the admin group, we want to create another get route. So maybe under the first get route, I will have another route. And for this one, I will go to forward slash users and then the user ID. I will have a show method in my admin controller to handle that. And I will call this one user.show. So now let's open our admin controller and create our show method somewhere in this controller. So I will create it before the role function. So we call it show and we need to accept the user as a parameter in this function. And we want to return a component again. So let's say return inertia render and the component that I'm going to create, I would call it user page inside the admin folder. So let's just create this quickly in the admin folder. We want to create a new document and call it user page view. Then create our script tag and the template. And let's just say user for now. Then we want to open our admin dashboard and go down to the section where we are rendering a link view for each user. So this is in our table body and the last table data. So I'm going to have an inertia link here. And instead of adding a text as the content, I'm just going to add some classes, including the font awesome classes. So I'm setting this to an icon with some padding and some color. And this is our link. And if we go back to the website, here it is. Now, when we click on this link, we want to go to that user page. We can bind the href to route user.show which is looking for a user and we can simply pass user ID in here since we are looping over all the users. So back to the website, give it a reload and go to the admin page. For example, we can see the text, we can see the ID, which is set to one. So that is working fine. And for now we can close admin dashboard and then go to the admin controller. And in this function, we want to send this user and their listings to our component and create a table for them. So first I'm going to create a variable called user listings and I will set this to user listings. And then in the render function, I'm going to add an array as a second argument, have a user prop, which is going to be just the same user we have in our parameters and also a listings prop, which is going to be users listings. Now let's go back to the user page and define our props. So we have a user of type object as well as listings of type object. And I'm just going to log them to the console. So user and listings. Now let's go back to the website and open the console. And if we reload, we have our first object, which is the user. So we have ID name and so on, and then an array of their listings. So if we open this, we can see the user ID is the same for all of this. It means this user's listings. So back to our admin controller, again, we don't want to just send the listings as they are. We want to paginate and sort them. So I'm going to add parentheses after these listings and say latest and also paginate. And let's say 10 on each page. So again, back to our website, we still have our user, but for the listings, now we have an object with the data array and the links. So for now, let's leave this as it is, and we will come back to it because we want to add filters to it. Let's go to our user page component and create our template. Again, I'm going to start with a head component and I want to set the title this time to a dynamic value. So I will use backticks and then grab the username and then the text listings. So this will give me, for example, admin listings or whatever the name of the user is. Then I can delete this div and I want to have a heading section. So a div with margin bottom six. And in here, I want to use our title component. So let me just import that import title from components folder. And down here we can use it. And again, I want to use the username and say latest listings under the title. We will have a div and I will add some classes so we can come back to it later. And similar to the admin dashboard, we will have a div for search filters and another one for toggling the disapproved listings. But for now, let's focus on the table. So this is going to be our table after that div. Again, I'm going to create a table with some classes. You can actually copy the table from admin dashboard and just change a few values. But to save time, I'm just going to paste these elements, which is just HTML and CSS. So we have a table and a table head. Within that, we have a table row and three columns. So we just have a title, 
approved and view and we will have our table body after that and within that we will have our table row which would be repeated for each listing so let's add the v4 on this table row and i want to say for each listing in listings.data i will also bind the key prop to listing.id within that table row i will have a table data that will be just for listing title and then another table data to show whether a listing is approved or not and i'm going to add a button here within the button i will have an i tag and i will bind the class attribute to a ternary operator or a dynamic value so i will use backticks and i will say fa solid and fa dash then i will use dollar sign curly brackets and check if listing dot approved was true then i will add something otherwise we will add something else so for the true part we want to say circle check and text green 400 if it was false i would show x mark and set the color to red now on the table data itself which is the wrapper for this button i will add padding y5 padding x3 and text to excel so i want larger icons and text center then i will have another table data which is the last one add some classes so set the width to 1 6 padding y 5 padding x 3 and text right within this last table data i will have an inertia link we want to bind the href of this link to the details page of each listing and we already have that so we can use the route function and say listing dot show which is looking for a listing id so we can pass that as a second argument then i can add some classes here so again i want to have an icon so i would say fa solid and fa upright from square adding x3 and set the text to indigo 400 so back to our website this is our table we have the title we have the state of a listing whether it is approved or not and of course each link which would open the detailed page for example we can go to this one and we can see the detailed page so let's go back and let's go back to the admin page let's open this one for example that has one disapproved listing and we can see a different icon so the idea is when you click on these buttons it would toggle the approved state of a listing so if it is approved it will disapprove it if it is disapproved it will approve it and for that we need a function which we will do it later but one more thing i want to add in terms of html css if we go to a detailed page of each listing for example this one i want to add another section here so the admin can either disapprove or approve the listing from this detail page so the admin doesn't have to go back to that page and find this listing and then approve it so they can just simply disapprove or approve a listing in this detail page which i think is the most convenient so let's open our show component and this is just going to be the html css and in the next video we will add the function so i'm just going to add a comment and say admin and i want to add a div here and the first thing i want to do is to check if the user is admin so remember we exposed the user role through our global props and we can access those global props in the template using the page value so notice the dollar sign before the page and this will refer to inertia global props so we want to go to page props and then auth and then user and then role and check if it is admin then render this whole thing so then i'm going to add these classes we have some dark background text white margin bottom and padding all around and flex item center and justify between and then in this div i will have a p tag and say this listing is approved or not approved so i can check if the current listing is approved i will show the text approved otherwise i will say disapproved so this is the text i want to show so back to a website you can see this listing is approved now on the other side of this container we will have a button and first i'm going to add some classes so bgs late 600 and padding x3 padding y1 and rounded medium then for the contents of this button again i want to check if the listing is approved then i will say disapprove it otherwise i would say approve it so we are going the opposite way and back to the website this listing is approved so you can disapprove it if it was disapproved then you would approve it now again in the next video when we have our route we will create a function to submit 
a request to that route and toggle the approved section. But for now, we are done with this detailed page for each user. So we can see a user's listings and whether or not they are approved. Now, in the next video, we want to create our search function, our toggle button, and also handle approving or disapproving a listing. So let's do that next.